Welcome to the Library of Virginia. I am Ashley Craig, the Community Engagement and Partnership Specialist at the Library of Virginia. I'm in the gallery where our current exhibition, 200 Years, 200 Stories, is on display until October 28, 2023. Since 1823, the Library of Virginia has served residents of the Commonwealth by caring for the state's official records, along with millions of books, newspapers, maps, and other manuscript materials. These items hold countless fascinating stories of Virginians, and I'd like to highlight one that's on display in the gallery. This architectural plan for a house was designed by Ethel Bailey Furman, one of Virginia's first black female architects. She was the daughter of a building contractor in Richmond. She could not study architecture in Virginia, so she studied privately in New York. She began her career in the 1920s doing drafting work for her father's firm. As a black woman, Ethel Furman faced numerous barriers and discrimination. It was sometimes difficult for her to make a living as an architect, and she's had to work other jobs to support her family. On some occasions, she had to ask male contractors to submit her building plans to local officials. And at least once, Ethel Furman was the only woman present at a conference of black builders and contractors, including one held at Hampton Institute during the 1920s. Ethel Furman designed almost 200 structures throughout her career. She designed residence as functional spaces intended for her middle-class clients' needs while using high-quality materials and structural details. She also designed several churches around the central Virginia, including Mount Olive Church in Goochland County, Mount Nebo and Baptist Church in New Kent County, and St. James Holiness Church in Richmond. Her 1962 design for the educational wing of Richmond's Fourth Baptist Church was recognized on the National Register of Historic Places as part of Churchill's North Historic District Extension in 2000. Ethel Bailey Furman was known affectionately in her community as PG or Miss P. She was an active leader in the Churchill community where she lived and worked, and in 1985, the city of Richmond named a neighborhood park for her. The Library of Virginia honored her as one of its Virginia women in history in 2010. You can learn more about Ethel Bailey Furman on our website and her surviving architectural records are open for research at the Library of Virginia. And I hope you will come and see this piece of history in the gallery before 200 years, 200 stories close on October 28, 2023.